This ProfiSynker tutorial will discuss the features of the Profiles tab. The Profiles tab permits users to show a profile shape on the base plate, to customize the dimensions of the profile, and to orient the profile on the base plate with respect to the X and Y axis. Each time a new ProfiSynker project is opened, the default profile shape shown on the main screen is an S3 by 5.7. The profile shape is oriented with respect to the X and the Y axes as shown. To select a profile shape, go to the box titled Profile, then click on the drop down on the left side of the box. A variety of standard AISC shapes are available. Users can also select No Profile, in which case no profile shape will be shown on the base plate. To select a standard profile shape, click on the drop down on the left side of the profile box. Then either scroll down or place your cursor over the desired shape and left click to select that shape. To select a specific size for a profile shape, click on the drop down on the right side of the profile box. Then scroll down until the size is located. Left click to select that size. After selecting a specific profile shape, the shape and the size will be shown in the box titled Profile. The shape dimensions will be given in the box titled Profile Size. When a standard profile shape has been selected, the dimensions which are given in the box titled Profile Size will be grayed out. This indicates that a standard size has been selected and the dimensions cannot be modified. Users can also customize the dimensions for a profile shape. To customize the dimensions, click on the drop down in the right side of the profile box. Then click on Custom. To customize a dimension, highlight it, then input a value, then click Enter or left click to save the value. When a profile shape has been selected, the loads which are input are assumed to act at the center of the shape. The orientation of the profile on the base plate can be modified by going to the box titled Eccentricity. To modify the position of the profile with respect to the X direction, go to the box titled X direction, then input a value and left click or click enter to save. To modify the position of the profile with respect to the Y direction, go to the box titled Y direction and then input a value, left click or click enter to save. The modifications that have been made will be shown on the main screen. The profile can also be rotated by going to the eccentricity box and the box titled angle. Input a value ranging from 0 to 360 degrees, click enter or left click, and the profile will be rotated in a counterclockwise direction. One final note about the use of profile shapes with Profis Anchor. The option to show a profile shape is intended to alert the user to possible conflicts between the location of an anchor and the location of the profile. Furthermore, the use of a profile shape is not intended to imply that a base plate design is being performed by Profis Anchor. Profis Anchor is intended to be used only for the design of cast in place and post installed anchors. This concludes the Profis Anchor tutorial on the Profiles tab. If you would like to contact Hilti for additional information, 
click on the wrench icon in the upper left portion of the main screen. Then click on resources and contact us. Your email will be sent to Hilti North America Technical Services.